Hello everyone, welcome back. Here's Van Amsen. Today we have an interesting problem to solve together the linked list cycle problem. So we will define uh, if a given linked list uh, contain a cycle or not. So this problem can be solved using a cycle uh, algorithm uh, called uh, Floyd uh, Tors and her algorithm. So let's dive right in and find the solution step by step. So first let's understand the problem statement. We are given at the head of a linked list and we need to determine if the linked list contain a cycle or not. So a cycle exists if any node in the list can be reached again by continuously following the next pointer. So our task is to return true if there is a cycle and false otherwise. So sounds interesting. So to grasp the problem better, let's uh, go through example uh, considering the uh, linked list with values 3, 2, 0, minus 4, we have an uh, additional parameter called post, which denotes the index where the tail uh, next pointer is connected. So in this example, post is 1, so meaning the tail connects to first node, so 0 uh, index. So our goal uh, is to determine if uh, this linked list has a cycle. So uh, let's see how we can solve this. So uh, let's jump into the code and I will explain everything right away. So to code it, if not uh, had or not had next, uh, return false. Uh, slow had and fast at next a while uh, slow not fast if not fast or not fast next uh, return false and slow equals slow next and fast equal fast, next, and next. So return true. So this is our implementation. Let's run it for a given test case to see if it's working. So I'm running it and yeah, as you can see, uh, this example have a cycle, so we return uh, true. So what we did, uh, we defined a class, uh, it was given solution with a method class cycle, and this method takes the head of the linked list as input and return a, a boolean indicating whether a cycle exists or not. So also let's verify it for unsynthesis cases uh, to see if it's working. So yeah, uh, it worked perfectly. And with respect to memory, we beat 86% and 32 with respect to uh, runtime. So uh, now let's explain the algorithm. So uh, let me introduce you to clever algorithm called Floyd, Terrace and her algorithm. So this algorithm is an optimal solution for detecting cycles in linked list. So uh, let's see how it works. We use two pointers, slow and fast. Initially pointing to the head of the linked list and the slow po pointer moves one step at a time while the fast pointer moves two steps at a time. So if there is no cycle in the linked list, the fast pointer will eventually reach the end of the list, indicating that there is no uh, cycle in this case. Uh, we return false. However, if there is a cycle, the fast pointer will eventually catch up to the uh, slow pointer inside uh, the uh, cycle. So when this happens, we know for sure that there is a cycle in the linked list and we return uh, true. So uh, we have uh, implemented it and we start by checking if the head or head next is known. If either is known, it means that link at least has no element or only one element. So there is a, cannot be a cycle. So in such case, we return false and we then initialize our slow and fast pointer to the head and head next respectively. So in the main loop, we compare the slow and fast pointer. And if uh, they are equal, it means we have found a cycle and we return true. Inside the loop, 
uh, we also check if the fast or fast next pointer are known. So if either is known, it means we have reached the end of the linked list and there is no cycle. So in this case, we return false. So finally, we update the slow pointer by moving it one step forward and the fast pointer moving in two steps forward. So before we uh, conclude, uh, let's discuss uh, complexity uh, of this solution. So the time complexity of Floyd's and her algorithm is about ON, where N is a number of nodes in the linked list. And this is because uh, in the worst case scenario, the fast pointer traverses the entire linked list. And as for the space complexity, our solution has a constant O1 memory usage. So we only use two pointers to traverse the linked list, regardless of uh, its size. So, and there we have it. Uh, we have successfully solved linked list using Floyd Torres and her algorithm. And we explained the problem statement, uh, introduced the algorithm and implemented step-by-step -step in Python. So I hope you found this video informative and enjoyed the journey of solving this problem. If you have any question or suggestion, please let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Van Amsen Coding for more exciting uh, coding challenges and solutions. Happy coding. See you next time.